is absolutely amazing to me how much you can do on the internet these days. Before Instagram, you had to take your brunch door to door to find out if your friends liked it. <laughs> but the internet can be a dangerous place, like those 10 simple ways to lose belly fat. It's possible that the 10th way is murder. <laughs> For instance, <laughs> there are a lot of online colleges out there, but you got to be careful because, as wise as it seems to get a college degree the same way you order shoes, some <laughs> online universities are actually a scam. The New York Times reports on fake diplomas sold for cash by a company in Pakistan. The business name, AYAK, claims to be Pakistan's largest software exporter. The records reportedly show its main business is selling fake academic degrees on the internet. That's right, the Pakistani company X Act was selling fake college diplomas, which explains where bin Laden got his degree in women's studies. <laughs> apparently, uh, yeah. apparently, the company duped potential students by building sleek websites for schools with authoritative sounding names like Barclay, Columbiana, and Mount Lincoln. <laughs> what? Mount Lincoln is fake? Then where did my parents send my dog Barclay? I should have known he wasn't qualified for college. He got a 12 on his ACTs. <laughs> act, act. Even set up a school named, and this is true, Nixon University. <laughs> Popular majors include paranoia, enemy listing, and jowl management. <laughs> and degrees. Degrees from Act, act aren't actually cheap. They're charging over $4,000 for a doctoral degree. That's not right. You can't buy a doctorate. You have to earn it by telling jokes to the graduates. <laughs> and AXAC wasn't just overcharging people for fake degrees. They also had agents impersonate American officials who bullied customers into buying certificates signed by Secretary of State John Kerry, proving once again that you have to actively threaten someone to have them want John Kerry's autograph. <laughs> Luckily, Pakistani authorities arrested the AXAC CEO, charging him with illegal money transfers, forgery, and fraud. No doubt he'll represent himself in court. I hear he's got like 20 law degrees. <laughs> well, I, for one, I'm glad they caught the guy. Charging people hundreds of thousands of dollars for fake degrees is appalling. I believe that fake college should be free. That's why I've set up my own network of completely free diploma generators, offering degrees from such prestigious institutions as Prancetown, <laughs> Notre Dame, Mount Holy Smokes, Stanford and Son, Skidmark, John's Hot Pants, Dartface, and Arizona State. Just go. Just go to ColbertLateShow.com, click the school of your choice, and then take your final exam, which consists of scrolling down the entire page and reading the word print. <laughs> Congratulations, you've now received both your PhD and your PDF.